All right, welcome back everyone. And today's video, I wanted to do a little vacuum review. Um, a lot of people ask me in, down in the comments on my other videos, what vacuum I like to use for my gar car detailing business. And this is the one right here. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I'll show you some of the features, why I love this thing so much and why I think it's a really, really good choice uh, for your car detailing business. Or anytime actually for, for around the garage, car detailing, just cleaning out your own car. It's a great option for many reasons, so let's jump into it. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now this is the vacuum that I've used for the last probably two and a half years um, for my detailing business. As you can see right off the bat, we have some attachments. I'm just gonna toss everything to the side for now. What an easy unboxing. Super simple, two little pieces and that's it. Okay, so here it is. Um, let's go over just some of the features really quickly. I'm just gonna do a quick measurement for you guys. So total length, uh, I guess it bows out a little bit, but say 20 inches by about 13 inches. And these are rough guys, but 20 by 13 by 13 and a half. So it's just a nice little rectangular cube. The reason I like that, so for me as a mobile detailer, I have limited space in my vehicle to be taking stuff and this works perfect. It stores really, really small. One of the other things is the storage that it comes with, guys. Super simple, super nice. So on, on this side, let me spin this around, we have some attachments. We have a little wide mouth tool and we have a little dusting tool. So this is great for getting into the vents and all that kind of stuff on your car without having to worry about it. On the other side, we have more, sorry, I just hit the tripod, more attachments. We have your hose. Now this hose is great because you can store it right in there and it extends quite long. So I'm six foot two. Sorry if that was hitting the microphone. I'm six foot two, so this is at least six feet. Let's see here. What does it say? It says, so the box states a seven foot by one and seven eighth inch hose. So that's accurate. Like I said, I'm, set, I'm six foot two. I'm extending it all the way out. We still have some extra here. So it works absolutely great. We'll go into the next item here. We have our crevice tool, which is fantastic. You always need a crevice tool to get in between, you know, between the seats, under the seats, all that kind of stuff. And then we have our power cord. So the power cord is 20 feet long, um, just a two prong, no third, just two, which is totally fine. I've never had any issues with that. Um, on the inside here, let me tilt this up for you guys. So what this is, is you can actually take your crevice tool and fit it right in that little slot, holds it straight up, very, very nice. Then you can take your hose, fit it in on one side, and have it come around the back a little bit is what I always do, okay? And then you fit your, obviously, this is how it was shipped, so obviously it all fits in there, and you're good to go. Um, on the other side, like I said, you do have those little attachments here. This is all I use, guys. I don't bring the other attachments that it comes with. Although these are nice to have, um, basically you can mount these on the wall in your garage, and then you pop these off when you need them, and you kind of daisy chain them together, hook that up to your hose, and then you can use it as a full like stand up uh, vacuum cleaner. So it's, it's very nice. Um, again, I don't ever use these, but it's really nice that they give them to you. Okay guys, next thing up is we're gonna go ahead and check it out. So we have a handle right on top. Very nice for carrying it around. Basic toggle switch on and off. And then on the sides here, you have two flaps. Lift that up and there is your entire reclamation uh, bin, basically for all your trash. So it's really easy when you need to empty it. Just take that part, top part off, empty it out. A couple of instructions, warranty card, all that kind of good stuff. Now on this, so the filter is really, really easy to take off. All you do is push it over this little pin and it's off. Super simple, you get a new one, put it in position, get it set up, and then just push it through the hole and you're all set. So 
that is it guys. That's the basic overview of this vacuum. Let's talk about why I love this thing so much. So here we are, got the rigid vacuum here, the little cube. Reasons I love it so much. Number one, there's no wheels on this thing, guys. So a lot of people may think that's actually a downside. For me personally, that is 100% a positive because a lot of times you have all the wheels. Here, I have another vacuum here. I'm gonna show you this one. So this is a vacuum that I have in my shop. Um, the reason I got this is because it is a vacuum and then the top piece pulls off and it's a blower. Um, really nice, but as you can see, the overall footprint is significantly larger than that one. And it does have wheels. So let me pull you guys down a little bit more, sorry. Um, it does have wheels. Now, when you're detailing cars, when you're just doing your own car, doing it as a business, whatever, especially mobile, a lot of times you're working in a driveway. Driveways, 99% of the time, are not flat. There's, there, uh, there is a little bit of an incline to them, meaning you're trying to work, you set this thing up, you're trying to work, and it's constantly rolling, kind of rolling away from you. It's really, really annoying, um, and it potentially can swing into the car and possibly dent the car if it gets enough uh, momentum going. That's the reason I don't like having wheels. No wheels, it's super easy, it's light enough to deal with. You just move it around. You don't have to worry about it sliding into anything. It's perfect. Now, speaking of carrying it around, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this thing. I don't even know if it's gonna register on this, to be perfectly honest. Oh, it will. 15 pounds even. So, I mean, it's not heavy, guys. Very, very easy to move around. It also does slide if you need it to. But, like I said, no wheels, so it's not just constantly rolling away from you, rolling into a car, all that kind of stuff. So, benefit number one, no wheels. All right, guys, benefit number two, this is the most beneficial benefit of all the benefits. Uh, this is why I love this thing. I am six foot two, and I'm right around 215 pounds. This thing is a nice little cube. Now, again, I'm six two, so I don't always need this, uh, but when I'm working on an SUV, Check this out. And I can work on top of the vehicle. No worries, I use it as a step. No problem. I've used mine, uh, the one I have in my truck, forever. I do this all the time. Now, you do wanna step right here in here. Um, not so much over here, because these are just the covers. So these are hollow and will bust off. I have done it, I've had it where it separates, you put it right back on, no worries, it, this thing's pretty bulletproof. So again, guys, I stand right there, it's amazing, especially as a mobile detailer. I don't wanna carry a million different things, right? Everything that I carry in my van has to have multiple uses. This, vacuum, obviously important. Number two, step stool, very, very important also. It also saves me time, I don't have to go grab another tool while I'm working, I have this out already, boom, I'm. I'm up another level and I'm good to go. Again, I'm 215 pounds, no issues with it. Now, Rigid doesn't advertise that, I don't think, um, that it can be used as a step stool. I don't know if they would want to, but I'm just telling you from my personal experience, 215 pounds, no worries. And number three, guys, is the fact, basically I already touched on it, but the fact that it's so compact, it stores everything inside of the unit itself hose, attachments, everything you need is inside, the, uh, inside of the unit, all in a small little cube. However, with that said guys, I do still recommend upgrading to the rigid um, crush proof hose. Now this is like part of their detailing kit or something like that they, they list it as, but it comes with attachments, comes with a crevice tool, comes with a couple of other things, um, and the hose I believe is 10 feet long, I believe, but it is crush proof, it's more robust than any other hose. Now, the hose that the unit comes with is fantastic, guys. It does a good job. However, it's not as robust as the other one. Um, and over time, this lasts me a good amount of time, but over time, this did crack, and I had to toss it, and it was, it was done. Um, so keep that in mind. Just, if you wanna upgrade it right away, go to that. I do recommend it, it's really great. If you don't, this thing will work for you fantastic for quite some time. So. Um, a couple of the other attachments that the aftermarket hose comes with is a crevice tool. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller than the crevice tool that the unit comes with. Um, but the nice thing is it does flex. So you can really get it in deep and get, uh, you know, have it flex around things and get in deeper with it. The hose itself, though, is a smaller opening than the one it comes with. So 
That's the only downside I have of this is that diameter. Um, with this one, it's nice because you can really suck up larger pieces of trash and just keep working. With the aftermarket one, sometimes if you suck up something too small, or sorry, too large, it'll clog the hole, so you just have to pull it out. It's not a big deal, but I do like the larger opening. So it's kind of pros and cons to both. Um, but guys, really quickly now, let's talk about the power of the unit. Again, this thing is rated at five peak horsepower. Um, and for me, that is the perfect amount of power. You get tons of suction without being overly aggressive. Um, for example, the other unit that I have here that has the wheels, that's actually a six and a half power, uh, six and a half horsepower um, unit, which is great. It sucks up more. It does. It does do a, it, it does have more power. However, when you're working on cars, especially guys, a lot of times, you know, you're working on a floor mat and you take something that's that powerful and it sucks or it lifts the floor mat and it sucks to it super, super hard and you're almost battling it. You're almost trying to fight it and be able to work. Otherwise, it just wants to kind of stay in place. So it's not ideal for me. For my purposes, I prefer a five peak horsepower. It's the perfect amount. It gets all the suction you need without you having to fight it. Um, so really quickly, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do a whole test as in like a QVC commercial where they set up a little cylinder with rocks and a little cylinder with water and a little cylinder with sand. Um, I, I don't know how that translates. So I'm gonna do a different test that I don't know how that translates either. I'm going to <laughs> use the suction from this unit and lift up a box and then I'm gonna use the suction from the six and a half horsepower unit and lift up a box. Again, doesn't really show anything but it will show a little bit of a difference in power um, visually so you guys can understand. All right, guys, so here we go. Here's the box that it came in. Came in. Just gonna stand it up like that. Now this box, I weighed it out, it weighs one pound, 13 ounces. And so I have the unit right here. I'm gonna fire it on. All good, lifts it. It does slip off after you get it up about a foot. It slips off. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the six and a half horsepower unit now. Um, really quickly, I wanna show you something, guys. Just based on the design of this unit, just one of the other little features that I really like, they really thought everything through. So this is your storage for, container for your cord, right? And they have this little slot in the opening here. So when you close it, it doesn't pinch your cord, keeps everything nice and easy so it can slide around. Just really good planning. Again, guys, this thing is super robust, uh, pretty much bulletproof. I love this thing. Let's go ahead and hook up the six and a half horsepower unit now. I'm gonna be using the same hose just so we get the same amount of uh, airflow passing through, to be fair. Um, let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, guys, so here we go. Here's the box. So there you go. Again, I don't know what that really shows uh, other than that the little cube unit that I love so much lifted about a foot off the ground before it started to drop it. The larger unit, six and a half horsepower, lifted it 18 inches to two feet maybe, something like that. Um, again, it's not a big difference in power. It has plenty of suction. However, I will be honest, when I use the six and a half horsepower, I do have to fight it. It's wanting to suck down to one spot and it gets a little bit annoying. The five horsepower is the perfect amount and that's what I recommend. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, I just wanted to film, you know, kind of a quick overview of the vacuum that I use. A lot of you have been interested. I don't see anybody ever talking about this vacuum, you know, other people reviewing this thing. Um, there's another unit that's similar that I've seen a lot of people review and I have used and it is fantastic. It actually gets the same ratings as this one. It's a five uh, peak horsepower unit. I believe it's four gallons instead of four and a half gallons, I believe, but not a big deal. That one does have wheels. Um, so it's also very compact. However, it doesn't have all the storage that this one has where it's all nice and and you can't use that one as a step stool. So this is why this one's my absolute favorite. I'm gonna link everything down in the description for you guys below. Uh, the unit itself, the aftermarket hose, the filters that you need. Um, so you'll, you'll be good to go. Anyways, guys, I hope that helps you. Uh, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It helps um, so more people can find the channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notifications and we'll see you on the next one.